this is where it's at. And they're not getting it anywhere else, so this is a place to get the information. I presume you've been to Liverpool before. I have uh, for 10 years so far almost. I live here. Oh, yeah, my little boy, I'm going around this. My son, he's a scouser. I've not been to Liverpool before, and it is wonderful. Oh, yeah. I'm having a fantastic time. It's going really well, actually, with a good atmosphere, friendly scouse people. Peter Roberts. Come and learn. You'll find out a lot about it and um, change your life. This is a place you're going to find what's really happening. And uh, you're from New York. My name's Ralph Ellis, so we're talking about the pyramids and megalithic architecture around the world. None of this mainstream news for you. I'm very happy to be here at the Beyond Knowledge 2009 conference. It's actually my first time in Liverpool, but a uh, great bunch of people interesting audience, a good mix of speakers, the latest news on UFOs, the unexplained, conspiracy theories, it's, uh, there's a lot of interest in these sorts of subjects. Are there aliens out there? Of course there are. Most of the FPL flew in, took possession of this material, flew back to Rammstein and didn't tell us and it was our country. It's right out of uh, the X-Files. We've been tracking it for about three, four minutes now. Chemtrails, will you? Well, just look at the trails. These aren't ordinary vapor trails. You said, you said looking at the chemtrails. They do stay around, don't they? I mean, when you start looking... Not that way. And, well, they're all over. They're, literally, there's one, two, three... There's probably about 20 or 30 up there. I don't know how long they've been there in terms of time, but my God, there's a lot of them. I'm going to sneeze, so just give me a moment. You sneeze away, it's the chemtrails, you know. Yeah, right. And you wouldn't expect them to stay around this long if they were contrails. Do you think they know what we're up to here today? They do. They read Nexus, don't they? It's advertised in Nexus. Dave said he was reserving some seats as well. And they're all full. Marcus Allen, Nexus magazine, publisher in the UK. Scotland Yard take Nexus, they, they know what's going on. Oh, you would expect them to. They say, why? Where else will we get such good information all in one place? Keep going. Just thought I'd pontificate about that, because that's another reason for leaving Britain. <laughs> uh, my name is Dave Truman. I suppose I organised and conceived of the whole thing and uh, basically brought it into the physical dimension. the man behind the legend that is beyond knowledge. Yeah, if you want to put it that way, yeah. I've been doing Nexus for 15 years. I first heard about it when a friend showed me a copy of the magazine and I thought, oh, that's interesting. I'll go and get a copy of Nexus. I couldn't find it. It wasn't on sale in Britain. I found it was Australian. I went out to Australia, met the editor and said I'd like to sell it in Britain. And he said, go for it. So that 15 years later, I'm still going for it. Still at it. Still selling it. More and more, every issue, it's increasing. Obviously, there's a demand for this type of information. Now, who does the website for you? I do. Right, and uh, how, to, how do people find you? Oh, they seem to like me. Oh, no, I mean... <laughs> oh, there's one for the other thing. How do people find you on the web, then? They go to www.beyond-knowledge.co.uk, which is the conference website. Uh, but it has a whole host of other bits and pieces on, like interesting DVDs of the conference. The biggest story at present is the continuing release of Ministry of Defence UFO files. When the, ever the MOD release files relating to the UFO, they get tens of thousands of hits. It's the most, on the Home Office site, the UFO files that get released are the most popular um, set of documents to be downloaded by far, and I think that's pretty telling. Uh, this is a, a proactive declassification process that involves uh, tens of thousands of pages of documentation. James Crabtree. And uh, why are you here? I'm here just like a kid knocking, like banging on the door, following the speakers that are talking about this new movement that's going on right now. Yeah, I, th I think that's what it says. Fantastic information. You know, I've explained that to you and I've gone through yeah, the evidence yeah, yeah. and you're thinking, oh, that's a bit strange. Crop circles. But Alex Jones says space programs. These no planers are total disinfo guys. It's kind of like the unwritten news. They've insulted them. I heard about the event on the internet. And they attack him. I was researching one of the uh, speakers. Have you sent this information to him? And they're just lying oh, so about it completely the other way. Yeah. Got a link from his website. Didn't hit the World Trade Center and here's why. That's that's like the gripper for me at the moment. Did you take the 
red pill or the blue pill? Yeah, the matrix. The, it's the whole matrix. What, the, pill, what pill have you your, taken? Your matrix of illusion. What pill have you taken? Too many. <laughs> My name is Myra Hurley. I am an aura photographer. This is a biofeedback camera. Working. It picks up the electromagnetic pulses from your hand via these plates, sends a message to the camera, and then it gives you a photograph of the upper part of your aura which is your electromagnetic field running around the body. And then you have a little reading with it. Tell us the story behind the title of Beyond Knowledge. Uh, I didn't think of it, actually. It was... Uh, Are you sorry about that? Would you mm, like to... Yes, it? yes, but the, the guy who actually thought of it is uh, a poet, so he's entitled to think of these wonderful names for things. It's a, it's the sort of name, I will say, it's the sort of name that grows on you gradually, because when he first said it, I, I thought, yeah, OK, but it doesn't really mean anything. And then the more you say it, the more you realise that it has multiple yeah. meanings. Everything is energy, so everything has a radiomagnetic field around it and it all produces colours because everything has a vibration, so it depends on how you're oscillating that particular day when you have your photo done to what colours you're going to produce. And we do a reading via what colours you're producing and how you're feeling and things like that. So one side of the body is your incoming energy, the other side is what you allow people to see. On your face and chest area, if there's colours trapped there, there are issues that you need to address. 